what's up guys welcome back to the video welcome back to the channel today's video is another ls 400 it's been raining here in california it's not raining at the moment but it has been raining here in california this past week so we got the jacket on it feels nice it feels good so um also guys before we do jump into this video i just want to say however you look at it with this whole corona virus thing going around please be safe guys and um, just wash your hands try to be as clean as possible don't want anything to happen to any of you guys i know damn well i've become a germaphobe since this has happened since my immune system is not the greatest <clears throat> i'm not trying to get sick i got content to create boys so be safe be clean and uh yeah we should be good but anyways guys in today's video we're going to be raising up the rear end so got to get this bad boy pulled in the garage oh, let's see if she starts she's dead damn it oh shane just got here can you jump it can you jump it Got Shane helping me. We got Shane helping me jump it. Uh, like I said, I don't drive the car as much, so the car does die. But let's see. Hopefully, she starts. I mean, I just drove it like the other day. Perfect. I need to get some gas up in there, though, boy. Sheesh. All right, guys. Let's go ahead get her pulled into the garage so I, I have quite a few things that i would like to do in this video one of them is raise up the rear end i want to get the grill painted black just so it's not primered and then i want to put the 326 wing back on because the people who are interested in it um would like the wing so we're gonna probably do that for them. Let's see. Put this right here for now. Cool. All right, guys. So we're also gonna have to get this whole liner pulled out so we can get the wing on. And then the other thing I want to do is pretty much just get all of this cleaned out as well. Um, I think. I think I have them. Oh, right there, perfect. So right there, probably gonna have to get that down. That is this side panel right here. So at least I have the two side panels there and there, just not a floor, I need to make that. So first things first though, before we do get into all of that, um, I wanna get the rear end raised up. As you guys know in the previous video, went ahead and raised up the front. And the other thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna get the shock towers welded up, body work, all of that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get this rear end raised up, get the coilovers adjusted. I'm gonna do that off camera since we pretty much already did that for the front. Um, do that off camera and then I'll pick up the camera when we get this wing put on and the whole trunk situated. All right guys, uh, got this side done and the car is dead so i can't pull it off but um it used to be like right here now it's higher it's a it's like a barely above the tire i should have went up another half inch to an inch but it is what it is i guess the new owner could always redo it um shane's working on the templates right now to get this cut out and tacked in over there so what i'm gonna do right now is um oh and it started raining here in california I don't know if you guys can see that or not but i'm just gonna go ahead right now and get the wing put on and then i'm gonna get the grill pulled off masked up and prepped for paint and then um we're gonna have to re-jump the car and get it pulled off and then get it pulled back on to do this side um so that that sucks but yep let's go ahead and get this 326 wing thrown on and then we'll kind of just go from there
All right, guys, we got the 326 being thrown back on. So I'll probably end up giving it a nice light sanding just to get rid of all the grease, make it look, you know, uh, new. There she is. Looks good. Oh. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pop the trunk again, clean everything out, get these two things thrown in. Um, Shane is over here getting the uh, pieces cut. That's one of them right here. So pretty much just gonna go basically like that. We'll just tack it in place, bend everything into shape, and then I'm gonna body work it actually. So it should look really good. All right, guys, I apologize. I went ahead and started working on that already. Didn't even film anything. Um, but I ground down the welds and then I used my DA and sanded everything. And then I degreased the whole area and then smeared a lot of Bondo. Actually, it's not even, it's not too much, but smeared all the Bondo on. So once this is dry, we'll get all of this sanded and then uh, we'll see how it looks. If we need more, then we'll put more. So I'm pretty much gonna do the same thing right there. And then once it's all said and done, we'll throw down some primer. And then I'll try to get some like white paint or something and tr or just some white primer. We'll just get it primered in. Um, and then after all of that's done, because it's gonna make a big mess, we'll get everything, the whole engine bay pressure wash and um, cleaned up as best as we can. All right guys, there it is. Looks really freaking good. Um, really nice, it's smooth. So I'm gonna throw down some primer. I'm gonna have to try to find some primer. I'll probably block it a little bit as well, but I mean, that's, it looks factory, to be honest with you, in my opinion. It looks pretty close. Look. And it looks pretty good. And by the way, it just out of nowhere started pouring. Wait, it's not even pouring anymore. It was pouring pretty hard. I had no idea. <laughs> I was right here standing and I had no idea. But as you can see, the reason why I wanna pressure wash is because you can see now it's super dirty. I don't think you'll notice unless you're like you know what to look for when you pop the hood i don't think you're going to notice that maybe i don't know we'll see it doesn't matter it is what it is but um yeah i'm gonna throw some primer down on this well i'm gonna block it a little bit by hand throw down some primer and then uh we'll go ahead and do that one and then this bad boy's done i'm seriously tired guys We've been, I feel like, full on restoring the car, it seems like. Um, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of walk around, show you guys everything we did. Um, the shock towers are not done yet. I put down a primer. I need to put down um, another coat of primer, but it's gonna be a white primer. And that's pretty much where I'm gonna leave it. And then uh, from there, and then, uh, so that's not done. Still need to hose everything down, clean the engine bay, all of that. Um, maybe, maybe not today. Shane's working on welding up the holes in the trunk. And then I still have to raise up the passenger side. But let me go ahead and show you guys everything we have. So there's the shock towers. Yes, they're not the most prettiest, but I mean, they really don't look bad at all. Especially when they're actually like white, not that. So that's basically done though, for the most part. Um, <laughs> Again, we got the wing on. This is raised up. I don't know if I'm gonna go higher or not because it's still pretty low compared to that. I mean, that's not the actual ride height, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then Shane's in here. He's gonna be welding up that hole, that hole, and that hole. He's cutting all the pieces out right now. So it looks like we got one right here. Um, so yeah, that's what Shane's working on. And then uh, we're pretty much golden. And then we just gotta jumpstart the car again and get this side raised up and uh she's pretty much ready to be sold yeah kind of sad bittersweet but it's kind of fun working on the car again to be honest <laughs> Uh, we 
have a small fire. We got a fire. <laughs> We are extinguished. We're out. Oh shit, hold on. All right, oh shit. All right guys, so as you saw, we got a few fires, but Shane went ahead and welded that in and that other piece right there. I went ahead also and uh, got this side jacked up or raised up. So it's pretty good. It's drivable now, I would say. Don't know if this side is up high enough because it's on boards. So maybe it'll be good. I think it's going to be fine. So we got a lot of work done. I honestly feel like I restored this car today. I'm not even kidding. Um, got all this stripped down, by the way. And then shock towers so we still gotta obviously do that like i said sand it and put some primer down some better primer I, this wide angle is crazy um but yeah so we're good so we gotta jump start the car again and then uh we're gucci smoked a lot. I only threw it for like two seconds. I need you to record it, that's why. It doesn't scrape anymore, so that's good. That looks fine. That's a little higher. Yeah. Where should we do it? Like right here? Do it like in the spot so we get oil. Let's do it right here. There she is, boys. She did. Looks good. Looks like we just need to drop the front end, but I'm not doing that because we're not keeping the car. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to smash that thumbs up and subscribe if you guys aren't already. Hope to catch you all in the next one. I think actually maybe I'll probably do one more LS video and then it's gonna be it, boys, oh, fortunately. But. I sure hope they're not. Oh, no, they're right here. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and hope to catch you all in the next one. And until next time, as always, peace out. Peace out.